I watched um, Paul and Storm rehearse through a bathroom door once at the triple door because uh, Paul had to go put on his big boy pants and Storm is just playing like White Snake or whatever. And he just <laughs> hit some chord and you could hear through the just Paul on the other side. It was a, a bond that I envied truly as a performer in that moment. The kind of intimacy you can only build on tour. Ah. Uh. Holocore so I, sounds like the next musical genre. Holocore? Holocore. Yeah. Holocore. Pretty, it's like the soft form of vaporwave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's, like it's if like vaporwave is the there's... is the soundtrack to nineties malls, holocore is yep. the soundtrack to nineties malls in the twenty twenties. Yes. Yep. Like Which the, is the, just then vaporwave with a lot of reverb and the EQ kind of is out of a broken speaker, surely. Yeah. Like all the anchor the, stores are gone. There? It's, yeah, like it's just the, nothing but zombie footlockers. That that it's yeah. that Twitter account that plays modern hits on on mall speakers with like a picture of an empty mall. You've seen that Twitter account, I hope. I I haven't. Oh yeah, it's it's like it's it's playing like modern hits. It's literally what I just said. I don't know why I have to re-explain it. That's no, I missed it the it first says, time. What it says in the it's it's yeah. it's a it's a Twitter account that shows you a picture of a mall that's empty. You, looks like it's the middle of the night generally, but it's just like, you know, it's just this big, empty, mo all the stores are closed, or maybe they're even missing placards, so they don't even have stores in those places anymore. And this, the speakers you hear in malls, and it's just like music from like, that should be from, that would be around now, like stuff that we'd be playing on the radio now, playing in this mall in this very hollow sounding, uh, just straight mid-range, you know, it, huh. Yeah, and it's kind of neat because you, you you pull it up and it's like I know what I'm getting. It's been explained to me what this is, but still, it's kind of interesting to sit there and listen to this and be like, yeah, yeah, that that mall should have been closed down five years ago. Hmm. I just assumed hollow core was wonder core for birds and their <laughs> hollow bones. I like that. Let's see here. Can I do it? You fall backwards and you take out the headphones and, and things. I will laugh at you and be horrified all at the same time. It'll be incredibly strange. I ran into a holocore! I mean, y'all missed out. The holocore <laughs> guy is one of the main characters in Kamen Rider O's. Oh! <laughs> and he's very enthusiastic about birthdays. Oh. No, that's what holocore is. is it's an off-brand version of Wondercore. Yeah, it's yeah. just a hollow tube that you do sit-ups on. <laughs> what is Wondercore then as an aesthetic? Orange. Sure. Like I, I makes makes me think of the color orange. Like not like like bus seat orange. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, I'm just what? captivated by this gif. Yeah, the Wondercore gif. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just imagine that guy in like a three-piece suit that's all just pink and flashy. And he's screaming happy birthday at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beast, the Wondercore jingle is only one chord and it's E. Is it? So you just strum. <laughs> yes. Let's see here. Ha! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at no, Beach, hold up your guitar. Green, we need to see the guitar. Green, we need oh, yeah. to see that axe. Hang on, my headphones came out. Sorry. Hold it up to the heavens. Hold that guitar up. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, you need a Sailor Moon guitar. Yeah. Well, now it I kind of really have one. Looks really good. I kind of have one now, don't I? You look like a '90s anime. <laughs> what we should do is actually plug you into here. Oh, maybe we should. So that you can have a little bit of extra length on those headphones, and then they won't come out all the time. You're right. Oh, Holy crap! Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 yeah. Sort of a paradiddle. God, that's really hard to the 
This is meant to be played an electric guitar, I have a feeling. The moon theme. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah, the strings are different. Yeah, yeah I have my telelele in a case. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's just, this feels like a classical guitar now. I it's so much really nicer to play in electrics a lot of times, right? Like, I know. It's just, it's more forgiving, like, what you're actually playing, but it shreds up your calluses. Like, that's why ukulele is a good, like, starter instrument for people that aren't sure about the strings, if the strings suit them, but... Yeah, I I miss I miss steel strings just a little bit. I'm pretty sure we can't play in time, can we? No, I think it we I've thought about this how this could work, not for Desert Bus, but just kind of in general with like OBS Ninja and the other tools. Um but I think what would have to do is like someone would have to play to a click and not hear what the other person is playing. Yeah. Someone adds on top of that, and then a third person on the end syncs them. Um, yeah. It would not be mm -hmm. like it would not emulate like a live collaborative experience. It might sort of feel like a live performance experience for somebody watching. For but I think it might be kind of soul sucking. For fun, uh, can we try to see what would happen if we were just to play like a simple chord progression together? Um, yeah, what are the ice cream chords again? Uh, I know it's a little early for that, but... Oh, right, the ones I use uh, are uh, GDC. Uh, I think what, what might... I'm wondering if, like, a metronome or similar would help, like, if... Probably not, huh? No, it would be the same thing you would hear. Yeah. If we even if we had it in like a watch together window or something where we could hit play at the same time, oh, yeah, it would still be subject to the latency of our video mm -hmm. to yeah. broadcast mm -hmm. to the stream. Yeah, you have and to link we're already it to like pretty time. low latency, but it makes a huge difference. Yeah, uh, count me in. What, I'll try to play along. One, two, three, and G, and D, and C. And G, and D, and C. Two measures of C? Yeah. I have no sense of how that sounds. Yeah, neither do I. So now, after this, now we get to hear what the... It's, yeah, you're like half a beat apart. And so they're... Okay. And, and everyone else is saying you're about a beat apart as far as they're hearing on, the, on their end. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> interesting. Right, yeah, because chat's hearing something different than we are. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Like, I think one of us could play chords and the other could noodle. That's, That's true. That's probably the best we could do. It would sound probably jazzier than either of us are capable of, honestly. Uh... Can you do green onions? Um, what are the chords? Uh, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, I need to get my it's cable. F, oh. you're going to hate this. It's F, G sharp, A sharp. Okay, I'm going to go. Like that. Yeah. It's easy with a capo. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Also, there's a lot of like slide noise, string noise. Yeah. 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 If I was plugged in, and I actually do have a thing here to plug in with it, we could probably reduce that a lot. But then we'd have to turn our mics off. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, because that's what you're hearing the string noise from. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. It's the labs. Yeah. But I do have my guitar here, and if we are able to suss out a means of. I mean. Just because the, you can't play it together doesn't mean you can't play, play it at all. Exactly. Right? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and music is really like the best way to test stream latency at all. Oh, I think yes. like it's sort of the most challenging thing. I kept trying to figure out how places like um, uh, um, like um, a late show with Stephen Colbert. John Batiste's yeah. band, they do their whole little overlay when they come back, they're all playing together, right? And, mm -hmm. and so I'm like, you have like nine people in that grid or eight people in that grid. Yep. So I'm like, did they all 
Do they all play their bits separately to a click? They uh, they, they have an album. Uh, they are lip syncing. Like, I hate to break the illusion for you, but yeah, they're not yeah, a character I, in any way. Yeah, because it, it made like, me wonder. I'm like, are they actually like playing to what's there? And they're just like, well, we'll just we'll we'll play back to something we've already pre-recorded, and and that then we'll know that we're hitting at the right times and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because like. Sorry, yeah, I just kept thinking of like the um, uh, Obama's inauguration. Yeah. With Yo Yo Ma, absolutely not playing that cello. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was like significantly below freezing on that day. Yeah, you wouldn't even want to take a cello outside on a day like that. Yeah. Yeah. Took some shitty or like, student um, cello. Oh, I did it again. The, Sorry. Does anybody remember when Rick Astley ran out of a float at the Macy's Thanksgiving yes. Day Parade? Yeah. He he wasn't singing, but then and that should have killed the bit, and then Meredith Vieira was like, Oh, and it appears we have just been rickrolled, ladies and gentlemen, and then the Rickroll <laughs> died. Got killed on national TV. It's, it's fun to watch a meme die. Yeah, <laughs> like That's in front of the moment. world. Yeah. Simultaneously. Yeah. Killed on live television. It, like the Rolling Stones of all people did a pretty good the thing I was describing of like one guy played the, the drums and then a guitar and then a bass they kind of layered it in the order you would in a studio but they all it was just you know millionaires in their houses uh, and I was like if these grandpas can figure it out how hard can it be it's hard that's <laughs> it, it's it's easy for them because they're millionaires <laughs> oh the solution right that's the, yeah turns out all right secret. step one Step one, be in the Rolling Stones in the 60s. Mm -hmm. That's that's difficult. I mean, I sure know that I wasn't. There was um, there was a, a great video. I think it was Top of the Pops. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Nirvana. Oh, okay. Top of the Pops is a UK... Uh, pop music show and Nirvana they're like we're going to have you guys on the air and so like okay sounds great we'll come on and play and then they were told when they got there you're going to have to lip sync that's how this whole thing works you're just, just going to stand there and strum and you're going to make like you're singing and they're like that's crap we're not doing that and they're like well then you're not going to be on the show and you've already like worked this and it's like Okay, fine. We'll do it. And boy, did they ever do it. Oh? Yeah, because uh, apparently, like, uh, Kurt was, like, singing, but he was not playing. Or what he was... And he would be, like... There'd be, like, stuff going on uh, in the song, and they mm -hmm. were doing something completely different. <laughs> and really, obviously, completely different. It's just, like, mm. all of that was... Uh, it was basically, like, no, if you're going to make us do that... I guess that's what we'll do, is we'll lip sync, but it won't be to anything that you'll be playing back. <laughs> yeah, you didn't say yeah. we had to lip sync to uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yeah. And then, because everyone keeps mentioning in chat how it's like, oh yeah, Iron Maiden did that on German TV. Muse did that on a show, like. Um, sure, I yeah. mean, that would be thing we would probably do ourselves if we were lip syncing. Yeah. All the people swapping instruments with each other. It's like, sure, yeah, why why not do that? Hey, everybody, yeah. let's just lip sync. Yeah. <laughs> I've solved it. That's a thing That's a thing we could do. Uh, somebody else could move their lips, and the rest of us could talk for them. Footage of Prime Minister emerges. <laughs> <laughs> that could never go bad. <laughs> see no problems gonna go back to here yeah I mean we're already lip syncing I hate to break the illusion but desert bus is 100% pre-recorded yeah yeah scripted it's Absolutely. a scripted radio play that we act out it's exhausting mm -hmm. including all the times we talk over each other just I... just to add some authenticity Authenticity. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, perfect. First time. I didn't, I didn't know how you were going to read that line. <laughs> they asked me to reread it twice, and I said no. 
Oh, Take wait. it again, they said. And no, said Heather. <laughs> I was right out of the recording studio. With my flip floppies. I can't wait for them to release the score to all this ukulele noodling I've been doing. <laughs> oh yeah, can you imagine how this will look in post? Huh. It's That's a nice thought. Hmm. That would also be a good uh, inscription on a gravestone. <laughs> that was a nice thought. This will look better in post. <laughs>